Over the last few years, we have been improving our use of the technology here at the Barbados Water Authority to better serve you, our valued customers, in a number of ways. And I'm talking about not only on the customer service side, but also on our network. I'm talking about the monitoring of our pumping stations, our mains, and those reservoirs. And to, to put it into context, it's all about using that technology through what is known as the SCADA system to give you an update on what we've been doing over the past few years to make sure that we better serve you. We have Anderson Spencer, he is the supervisor with the SCADA division. Anderson, good to have you on the program. Talk to us about SCADA, remind our viewers what it is and how it works. Hi Shane, <clears throat> the word SCADA really stands for Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition. Supervisory control is where you're able to monitor the system and also have the ability to stop and start a pump. Data acquisition is the side where the devices that are installed in the system, the information that is collected from these devices are compiled and this is used to help us here at the Barbados Water Authority to make any changes or implement any new plans in the water distribution network as we continue to deliver water to the public. The SCADA system is a fully computerized system which enables us to monitor all the portable water stations and the wastewater section of the BWA. With this system, you can see real time the operations at these locations such as the flows. This is the water that is pumped from in the wells and into the water distribution network. There are also the levels in the water reservoirs and tanks. The salinity which is the quality of water and this is important to us since we have some stations close to the shoreline there are also the power consumption which is very important for us here at the barbados water authority the other aspect of that is that the system notifies us of any faults that occurs and this is also in the cases of flows if there are increasing flow it normally indicates to us that there's a burst within the network okay. there's also uh, pump failure. There's also high pressures in the network in terms of high and low pressures. There are also high and low levels in the reservoirs. And then again, there's power outages. When these power outages occurs, obviously the system picks this up and it is able to let us know that at some location there is a power outage. And also with this power outage component, there are the standby generators which have been recently installed at some of our locations and when these units come online we are able to know that the station is being fed by the generator until normal power has resumed. So that means the SCADA system also helps you to communicate with your teams in the field in terms of those response times for example a burst main and you mentioned a number of other issues that could occur with the network? Yes, uh, the system has been recently upgraded and therefore we are able to benefit more from these features and the system has enabled us to have more persons using the system at any one given time. It's also faster, it carries a lot more features and it is very user friendly. In addition to that, we have the scatter operators and these guys monitor the system on a 24-7 shift basis. All right, these guys, they would take any fault reports that comes in from the system and reports this to the relevant departments. And these departments would obviously carry out the work that is necessary to resolve those issues. So this is very important for us here at the BWA. Yeah, it's really all about improving that customer service in whatever way we can, as I said. It's all about using that technology right there to just make sure that you have that consistent supply of water coming into your home. Thank you again, Anderson, and of course, thank you for watching another edition of Water Wednesdays. To view this or our previous episode again, please visit our website at www.barbadiswaterauthority.com. Go to our Facebook or Instagram pages. We've got loads of content there, and please press that subscribe button on our Water Wednesdays channel on YouTube. You can find us there.